going. I'm going to die soon. Now, here's the interesting thing about me and Beth is that we haven't known each other long. And it's weird how we didn't know each other when all things were like, you two should know each other. We was in the same friendship group, basically. Yeah. I mean, I know who you was. I knew Beth Dixon since year, I want to say, 10 history, when me and Alex were, shall we say, misbehaving. <laughs> and we got moved to the back of the room. And she was the only one with the table free. And so we just sort of sandwiched her. <laughs> and we proceeded to annoy her for the rest of the year. And now we're lifelong friends. Yeah. So, like, your best friend's Beth. Yeah. And we were best friends with Beth. And yet... We still... We still just didn't do anything. Yeah. Then, uh, day before prom, or as we were calling it ROA, um... We had a haircut at the same place again at the same time. I know. <laughs> we, we never said hello, though. No, 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 no. <laughs> and f- for you, it was because you had this beautiful hair thing that you had done. I know exactly Yeah, basically, it was. that was the last time I ever had that fringe. Yeah. After that, it was gone. She just basically parted it here. Because well, I had all the hair, like, across here and then all over here. <laughs> and then it was parted there. And then I just had it curly. Well, there you go. I was transformed from that day. You were, absolutely. And so I just sort of sat and waited until you were done. Um, (coughs) Because it was coincidental for me in that I needed a haircut anyway. Yeah. So I just went and got a haircut and I, hey, prom's tomorrow. It was really good timing. Well, yes, that was during the time of my life. It was on the day, not the day before. I was on the day. Oh, shit. Yeah. Even better. It was on the day. Uh, But yeah, I just needed a haircut anyway, so I was like two birds on stone. But yeah, it was during the time of my life when I was 15, bad time, and, <laughs> and I thought it would be a grand idea to just have long hair. Not like I have now, where it's shaved no, when, when and, he, when he says long, shut he and stuff. Long. I mean, just everything was just damn. Um, and it, it was not a good plan. <sighs> uh, I'm bound to have put pictures up of the both of us on the screen. So. Yeah, I did regret my hair. I regretted everything I did when I was 15. Mm. I think I regret everything I did up until today. I think every decision... Up until 2016. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Please ignore. Please no. How did we meet? Like, properly? I don't actually remember. I think it must have... I think it was, um, it, it, like, one of Beth's get-togethers. It must have been, yeah. Because <coughs> you were fond of those, were not she? Mm, she was. Yeah. And then... That's always the best, is when you're really good friends with someone, but you can't remember how you became friends with them. one of the main ways was when me and Beth started up that YouTube channel. Yeah. And you helped us. Yes. I think that might have been one of the reasons. Uh, yeah. And I gave the, uh, was that, that was the first one you ever done, wasn't it? What, me and Beth have a YouTube channel? Or yeah. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I find that quite funny, in that I helped you two out doing that giving you the rope, showing you the ropes and giving you the advice and stuff. And then you moved on to the different, the other channel. And I just bloody took off. Oh, 10,000 so, subscribers. Yeah, and I'm sat here on, what, 190? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's quite all right. It shows that I need to pay attention to my own advice. Mm. Uh, Obviously. <laughs> um, yeah. What? So basically... There was a there was a point in life when we didn't know each other, mm-hmm. and that was a weird point in that it was so much time. Like still, even with Rosie, I still haven't had a full on conversation with Rosie. Mm-hmm. And but throughout she's like my best friend, exactly. And throughout all of school life, people kept on saying, "Oh, you know, you know that Rosie girl." I was like, "Never heard of her, mm. not at all." And I kept on being like, oh, I'm the youngest person in the year. And everyone's like, nah, mate. No, you're not. Rosie's a day younger Rosie than you. Is. I'm like, who the fuck's Rosie? <laughs> but now, I've talked to her on Instagram and Twitter, and it's like, yo, Rosie, how you doing? <laughs> uh, still haven't spoken to her in person. Here's the thing, though. What? We went to Rock City. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I like how you're already into it. I'm down. I'm down. I'm with it. Well, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> well, come on. If we went to Rock City. Yeah. And we made a, a bet mm-hmm. to see... How many, how how much female attention we could get before the night was over? Between both of us. Who would win? Probably me. <laughs> <laughs> Just because. Wait, it depends on my situation. Mm. 
if I, if I'm in the situation I'm in now. Oh no 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 no! It, it's free to go. It's complete. Like yeah, go for it. Do oh okay. It. Well, I don't know. I usually just go straight up to them and be like, "You're fit." That's an interesting point. How do you? Because it's it's easier for a bloke to do that. Mm-hmm. I would say because the majority of the population is straight. Yeah. So, for you, Mm -hmm. how do you just go about being like, yo, you're fit, in the knowledge that they're going to be like, thanks? Just because most girls at Rock City are up for it. (laughs) That's fair. (laughs) You've just found your niche. Yeah. And you're sticking to it, and you're like, yo... This is where they are. And you're drunk, so you don't really care if they're like, I'm straight. That's the fair bit. But to, yeah. to, to be fair, most most girls that I have gone up to in like Rock City, they've always been either like, yeah, do it, or sorry, I'm in a relationship, you're really cute though. Oh, that's <laughs> nice. Yeah. Let, you down, let <laughs> you down gently. Yeah. That's cool. But what? most of the time, it's not usually me that goes for it though, like I have wing women with me. Oh, yeah. But I'm a good wing woman. Oh. You know I'm a good wing woman. Was that... Right, okay. Speaking of wing men and women and other... <laughs> not, right. <laughs> mm-hmm. Or his name shall be... Martin. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, what was it... Right. What was his plan when we went to Rock City? Because we turned up early. Mm-hmm. And we got in early because we're Janky bastards who had someone in the... There was literally no one there. <laughs> it was like... Yeah, we, we turned people. up. Q was longer than life itself. But April... <laughs> she got us in at the... She got us in. <laughs> she got us in at the front of the queue. She so. got us in. She jacked that queue. <laughs> and we got in. Very beginning. And then <laughs> went around. And he just... Found people. No, he, he, he didn't. It was me. Was it you? I was going around like, my friend's cute, what do you think? And then I'd like take them to him. And he'd... Do his business. Right, that's the question. What was his business? Because he, he left. He kept on going. And apparently if you did too. So what was the plan from the I, beginning? I kept going. No, no, no. Because what you've just said. Yeah. Um, you kept on bringing people over. Oh, yeah. And Martin was doing that as well. Yeah. He kept on sodding off and coming back with a couple of people. Yeah. And then he made his good friend Adam, didn't he? He, he was like, Adam. And we kept on seeing Adam around. He was like, Adam. And Adam yeah. was like, high five. And it was beautiful. Never saw Adam again. Don't remember him because nope. I was very drunk. Very drunk. <laughs> you were drunk before you arrived. <laughs> but um, it's like, what was the plan? Just be like. He just wanted to have fun. Fair. That, that was it. That's fair. Just walk around, invite people over, see what happens. That's basically what I did on my first night at Rock City. That's fair. <laughs> I only kissed one person though, but it kind of. If that didn't happen, I wouldn't be where I was right now, though. Yeah, ain't that the truth? Yeah. The way you described that incident was... The, the incident with, this, with, with Michael. <laughs> <laughs> it was, it with, wasn't a boy. With Michael. <laughs> um, Marcus. Marcus, okay. Anything mm-hmm. beginning with M. <laughs> M-A-R. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, you, just, you didn't describe that to me as you kids then. Oh, no, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't even go up to them. Tell that story. Oh, okay. For the boys and girls at home. <laughs> I really hope doesn't watch this. <laughs> anyway, um, I was with my two friends, I was with Emily and Rosie, and um, I was like getting over a breakup, and they were like, the best way to get over someone is to get under someone. Hey. <laughs> and I was like, alright then, let's do this. So, um, I saw someone, not easy to miss, they're very tall. <laughs> <laughs> Taller than me. Yeah. Taller than me. <laughs> and, um, I said to one of my friends, I was like, she's really fit. <laughs> and she, I didn't notice because I turned around um, and then she told my other friend and then that friend just disappeared <laughs> without telling me. And I was, and then the next minute I turned around and I looked at her, she's over there with Marcus. And next minute Marcus comes over, I say in my drunken voice, hello. <laughs> and then, ah, the, the <laughs> ever seductive Beth. Yeah, that was me. I was, like, hi. I was just like, hi. <laughs> I actually just went, hi. And then next minute Marcus stuck his face to her face to my face and there we go. Took control from there. Yeah. 
solid. Nothing came out of it, apart from friendship. Oh, oh. the gift of friendship. Shouldn't have gone that way, but that's the way it <laughs> ended up. And then, yeah. but I did get something good out of it. So, a hundred dollars. Yeah. It, that's a currency we don't use. No, it's not. But we can if we wanted to. I mean, we could get it exchanged. Yeah, exactly. But you know why? For like seventy pounds. Something like that. So thank you for everything. Where can people find you online if they <coughs> think you're hip and swell? Well, YouTube's down for now. Not planning on... I don't know when I'm going to upload, just because I'm trying to focus on other stuff. But I'm always on Twitter, I'm always on Instagram, I'm always on Tumblr. So I'm pretty sure my friend Greg can put my links down in the description. I'll try. Oh, and Snapchat. And Snapchat, you want me to blow that? Okay, I'll put yeah. that in. Okay. Uh, she's cool. She talks about... What do you talk about on Twitter? I don't know. I don't follow you. My problems. <laughs> Your problems. Yeah. Um, I basically talk about my problems and, and girls. If you enjoy either of those things, mm-hmm. then she's all right to follow. Um, what have I been doing lately with my life? Nothing. Literally nothing. <laughs> uh, soon, I'm going to put out a video about limericks. I wrote... Yesterday, I was bored. And so I wrote a bunch of limericks about YouTubers... Some big, some not so big. And um, I'm going to recite those. Uh, I hope you find them entertaining. If not, then, I don't know, write some yourself, you little prick. Ungrateful bastard. God damn you. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. See ya. <laughs> <I'll be right. laughs> How long have you been recording for?